Now let's look at the option of text wrapping. So you will notice here on this, this is a sentence and it rolls on over into the columns next to it. However, if I type something in column F, I will now lose the ability to see that entire sentence. So you have a few options. One you just learned, we can resize the width of that column. The problem is, as we type sentences into these other cells, they may end up being longer than this column is. So let's go ahead and move that back down again and look at some other options. I'm going to remove this WD. So now we can see how it overflows again. So I'm going to choose column E and let's look at our other options. So right now we are on the overflow option. I'm going to choose the clip option. So notice now what happens. I choose clip. Even though there's nothing in column F, it automatically clipped this sentence off right where this column ends. Now it doesn't get rid of the text. So if I select it, I can still come up here and I can read the text in the formula bar. I can also continue to make it longer so that I can read the entire thing. All it's doing is clipping it and you'll find that there are times that that's visually better for you to have. So it just depends upon your purpose. I'm going to show the final option of text wrapping. So I'm going to select column E. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to choose the center option, which is to wrap the text. What you can see happened here is it automatically resized the height of this row in order for us to read this entire sentence and it just text wrapped it automatically for us. The final alignment feature we're going to look at is the text rotation. So I'm going to select row 2, this is my header, and I'm going to come up here to text rotation and you'll notice they give me a few different options here but I can also choose my custom angle here. So I'm going to first go ahead and just choose one of these options so you can see what it looks like and it automatically takes and moves the rotation of each one of the headers. Now I still have it selected. I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to say that's a little too much. So I can select from the drop down or I can even just come in and type in specifically the degrees that I want it to be. So that's another option you have with aligning your text.